Hey kindergartners, this is your Rainbow Fish Windsock Project. And we've already learned all kinds of lines and we practice making them in color. Now we are going to take that and use it as we make our lines on our paper. Today you're going to use your oil pastels or crayons to make your lines on your white paper. Now the first line that we make is the red straight line. So go ahead and make a red straight line from one side of the paper all the way to the other. The second color that we use is an orange. Use your orange to make an orange wavy line. Next we're going to use our yellow to make a yellow zigzag line. Ooh, that's really sharp. Zig, zag, zig, zag. After yellow we're going to grab our green and make a green dash line. Dash, 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 dash. And then we'll grab our blue to make a blue loop-de-loop-de-loop -loop -loop squiggly line. Next, grab your purple. Remember that castle line that goes over, up, over, down? Make a purple castle line from one side of your paper to the other. For our last line, I made a swirly line, but you get to choose your favorite line and your favorite color. So choose any color you like and make your last line. Okay, now boys and girls, when it comes to our paintbrush, our paintbrush needs to jump in the water, make a little puddle, and then you can paint on the paper. So the first color we're going to use is red. Jump in the water, make a little puddle, and then dance on your paper, on your tippy toes. After you use the color, make sure you dip your brush in the water and then you dab on your paper towel. So you dip and then you dab. And after that, you can get a new color. You dip in the water, make a puddle, and use your new color.
leaves are orange, we're going to use yellow. And then after yellow, we're going to use green. So go ahead and paint green from one side of the paper all the way to the other. And then blue. Make sure you dip and then drip and make a puddle and then you can paint blue from one side all the way to the other. And finally, paint the rest of your white space with purple. We want to make sure that we cover up all the white space on our paper. And now we're going to practice cutting just like we did on our cutting skill page in our sketchbook. We're going to cut a scalloped line. So that bumpy line, you hold your paper, use your scissors to bite the line and cut a scalloped line like this. Now once you're done cutting your scalloped line, you need to make sure to throw away your scraps. So any scraps you have go in the trash and your scissors go safely back closed. we're going to take our paper and flip it over to the white side. Use your glue stick and when you open up your glue stick you want to make one line along your bumpy scalloped line that you cut. You want to make one line of glue, that's all it takes, just a little bit, to glue down your streamer. Put your streamers side by side, glue them down on your glue line that you created. And finally, Miss Darns will come around and roll up your windsock and tape it so that it will stay closed. And I will also tape on some yarn so that you can hang it up and voila, you have a masterpiece. I cannot wait to see what you create. Bye guys.